So we, um, this model we spoke about money and finances and being ready for investment. Now while we have our beers and our pizzas, <laughs> which we, we haven't eaten yet, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. it's still in the parcel and the beers are still fresh. So I, I suppose we can have a uh, uh, insightful reply. But um, uh, how would you say that helps in preparing you to be ready for outside parties to inject funds into your business so you can in increase your impact? Well, from my side, um, I must admit my, the accounting principles for me were a little bit rusty. So for a start, even before I look at investment, I needed to fully understand the accounting principles of my business. So if I, I can actually read my annual financial statements and fully understand them. So that was wonderful because I brushed up on all those principles. And, and of course, then looking at trying to understanding the valuation of the business and, and the different methods, that was that was also very helpful. But one thing is clear to me, I'm gonna still need some help with that. Mm. Yeah. So Agra, for yourself? Uh, well, I have a background in finance, so I would say that it was more like a good refresh uh, of, of uh, basic finance for me, uh, but it's always interesting to to have a look at it and to make sure that we have the, the basic right. So that means you made sure we didn't make any mistakes in what we were Exactly. Doing. I, I was just trying to, to check that everything was right. <laughs> <laughs> That's encouraging. No mistakes. And Emil, what would you say? Um, for me, it actually addressed some of the key issues that running a business you neglect as a SMME. So I've also come from a finance background with the BCom and stuff. And those things should be integral in my business, but for some reason it's not. So That makes me feel a lot better. <laughs> so it's made me now realize that I need to readdress it and put a little bit more focus on it in order to optimally run the business. So yeah, very useful. Okay, great. Let's turn to Glenda. <laughs> so, I'm you can just have a glass of so wine much. too if you want. But, um, oh, yes, because I need a gulp. <laughs> <laughs> so, well, Dina, what do you, so what, what do you take from uh, spending the two days here at our session? Well, I do not come from a financial background, and and so this is it's not new to me. I've seen it, and I, people have done it for me, but now it may gave me a little bit uh, of clarity, a little bit of clarity on on what's happening, and and I can understand it a little bit more. Mm. So it will take a while with me, but uh, the way it was presented. Um, I could understand it to uh, for most of the time. And that's it. Great. Yeah. Thank you, Chris. You've been peeping here over Glenda's shoulder. Okay. What, what did you take away from the two days? <laughs> well, I, I think I think to me probably the most powerful part was the the hot seat. I think I think that was really good for me. On the financial side, it was really sort of broad based, and and I think that we need to take some of those lessons and integrate those. We need to do a lot more work with some of the resources we've been given and uh, unpack that in terms of what we need to do for our own projects. But uh, yeah, it was good. Um, I think the interactivity in terms of learning from others as well has also been very useful. So all in all, exhausted, so I'm going to enjoy my beer now. Okay, well, where is it? <laughs> there it is. Do so. Cheers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a now, gargle, gargle.